Hello, my name is Dave Sharp. I'm with Potesta and Associates and uh, today I'm doing a recording for the uh, Morgantown Parking Authority's uh, upcoming project for the Armory Lot Retaining Wall and uh, we're doing this uh, in uh, response to the COVID-19 uh, issues and the uh, pre-bid meeting was scheduled for next Wednesday uh, the 25th and uh, wanted to uh, go ahead and do this video. We're going to share a link to it and the uh, in-person uh, pre-bid meeting will not be uh, held next week. So the, the pre-bid meeting is uh, being conducted via this uh, video and that uh, any of the contractors that are anticipating to bid on it will are welcome to visit the, uh, the project site at any time um, prior to the bid submittal. Um, questions will be responded to electronically as well. Um, anyhow, uh, I'm going to walk around the site. Uh, there's two different components. I'm going to walk around the upper part and then I'll pause the video. There may be a part two segment of the video. Uh, I'm going to walk around the, the uh, lower side and, and do a video there as well. So anyhow, here goes the uh, pre-bid meeting uh, for the uh, Armory Lot Retaining Wall. Again, this is the Armory Lot Retaining Wall project. Uh, Morgantown Parking Authority, bid call 2020-10. And uh, as noted, the uh, pre-bid meeting uh, was scheduled for uh, March 25th at 2 p.m. Uh, again, that will not be held. This uh, video, a link to this video, will be the only uh, pre-bid meeting that will occur on this project. Uh, at this time, the uh, bid submittal uh, date remains unchanged and uh, we will issue an addendum if that uh, needs to occur. So anyhow, here's the uh, here's the retaining wall project. Uh, step back here out of the sun so it's not so bright. It's right off of the uh, parking garage uh, for the uh, Morgantown Parking Authority at 300 Spruce Street and uh, the retaining wall is on the downhill side of the project. Uh, it's right behind the uh, guardrail that's shown, concrete retaining wall. And uh, as you can see, I'll get a little closer to it. Now, there's actually a depressed area right behind the wall. Uh, that's the uh, result of some movement that's been observed in the concrete wall. And uh, the concrete wall is actually leaning out in this portion. Uh, you can see that in the uh, joint here at the corner of the guardrail. Um, the project actually consists of removing this retaining wall all the way from its uh, connection point, or uh, it doesn't actually connect to it, but it's touching point with the uh, parking garage uh, to remove the entire length of the retaining wall to a point near the uh, small brown uh, structure in the uh, background. And I'll, I'll uh, define that uh, connection point. We're not going clear to that building. There's actually a uh, a break in the wall and I'll uh, in segment two of the video from the lower side I'll, I'll point out where that is but uh, we're basically removing the existing wall um, down to a point this this site used to be a uh, and the reason why it's called the armory wall it used to have an uh, armory located here the building was uh, demolished but the previous uh, former foundations were not totally removed <clears throat> they were removed to a point below grade and this wall <clears throat> and the drawings for this are actually attached uh, for this wall the best we have they're attached to the contract documents this wall actually uh, connects to the uh, old uh, foundation wall there, there were uh, dowels drilled into it and concrete was poured on top of it to extend it up to this level um, what we're doing is actually removing this wall um, maybe down to that point um, the, the depth of the removal has to extend to feet um, below the proposed um, foundation unit for the uh, new wall uh, so two feet below that we're actually going to cut this wall off and um, then we'll we'll put two feet of gravel compacted gravel granular material back in and then we'll build this uh, new retaining wall uh, on top of it right now the city is uh, proposing to use a stone strong uh, large block retaining wall system uh, or an engineer approved equipment. The uh, project 
uh, also include some uh, drainage improvements. Uh, you'll notice that the, the drainage right now uh, runs from the parking lot down to and against the, the retaining wall and then goes towards, right now it's probably going through that gap in the wall. But at one point, it actually, uh, there's a drop inlet uh, located over here near the uh, parking garage. And um, there's some uh, provisions in our uh, contract documents and specifications to actually extend the, the drain line from this uh, drop inlet through the new uh, proposed retaining wall and discharge at the same location where this one does. Borings, we actually did three borings. Uh, boring logs are included. Uh, you'll notice uh, right in, in the pavement, you can see if you do visit the site or in this video, uh, they're located uh, without measuring probably 10 feet or so off the back edge of the uh, retaining wall. Um, pretty close to about where the zone of influence of settlement is from the movement, the depressed area. The city uh, is going to, I believe, obtain a uh, temporary construction easement. Our uh, new retaining wall will not actually go up against this structure, uh, but we are going to uh, hopefully obtain a temporary construction easement that will allow us to uh, cut this uh, existing retaining wall and be uh, working very close to this property line on this side of the property. Okay, this is segment two of the pre-bid meeting for the uh, armory lot retaining wall, contract 2020-10, the Morgantown Parking Authority. And uh, this is uh, segment two, actually on the lower side of the wall. To access this, uh, I actually walked around the parking garage. There's a, uh, a a gate on the far end. Actually looks like it's locked, but it's not, so you can access it by foot. Uh, walk around the lower side of the wall. This is the point where the existing concrete wall touches the uh, existing parking garage. And then it, it uh, is on an angle, an approximate 45 degree angle from the garage. Actually comes over to the uh, flat or the uh, straight part along the parking lot. And uh, from here is probably the easiest place to uh, see the movement or the leaning tilting of the existing wall uh, to the downhill side uh, which is the primary focus of this project again this wall is to be removed in its entirety uh, to a point shown on the other side and uh, to a point that's two feet below the bottom of the proposed retaining wall and that depth will um, be dependent upon the design of the retaining wall uh, which is part of the contract and uh, is to be per, uh, performed by the contractor or, or uh, their uh, a hired engineer to do so. Uh, the contractor is required to submit a design, sign sealed design uh, for review prior to construction and uh, from that then that will determine the depth of embedment of the lower block material and the run out lengths of geogrid and such but there's a uh, typical detail provided in the drawing that shows the uh, finishing on the top uh, with the uh, double-sided blocks and, and such on the top of it that serves as uh, traffic protection. So uh, anyhow, this is again the uh, lower side of the wall. I'm going to walk along the downhill side. Uh, there's not a whole lot of room. Um, probably not really accessible with, uh, by equipment back here. Uh, without removing the wall first, you can see the trail leading along the downhill side of the parking garage is pretty narrow. There's a uh, Decker's, the Decker's Creek Trail. Rail trail is down below us. Uh, very steep, almost near vertical right here at the site. Uh, there is uh, remnants, I assume, that this is part of the old uh, foundation wall for the uh, armory building as well that, that was uh, allowed to remain in place when they demolished the building. Rail trail down below us, obviously 
uh, protection of any uh, debris uh, falling down the hill. We need to make sure that we provide protection for that in the contract and uh, also for ENS control uh, for the uh, Morgantown Utility Board's uh, requirements uh, to not allow uh, sediment laden water from running over the hill. I'm going to walk over to the far end uh, connection to the uh, existing uh, property. There's a retaining wall associated with this adjacent property and uh, you can tell that uh, when we uh, or when when this wall was built when this wall was built it uh, actually did not uh, connect to the uh, perpendicular wall that extends uh, from the parking lot and uh, our goal is to uh, pretty much do the same thing uh, this time we are going to uh, not disturb this wall because we do not want to uh, impact this adjacent building so we're going to uh, basically cut this wall at this location and our new stone strong wall uh, will uh, abut up against that uh, perpendicular wall and uh, you know I'm assuming that we'll be able to cut this here at the top and if not we'll need to uh, the contract needs to make provisions to uh, replace uh, that piece of concrete at the top of that vertical uh, perpendicular wall if necessary if it's damaged during construction that will be the contractor's responsibility to, to protect that or replace that piece of concrete on top of the perpendicular wall This concludes the pre-bid meeting for the Armory Lot Retaining Wall for the Morgantown Parking Authority. Uh, bid date uh, or pre-bid meeting was scheduled for March 25th. Will not occur as scheduled due to COVID-19 virus precautions. Um, at this time, unless an addendum is issued, the bid opening is still scheduled for April the 8th, 2020, at 2 p.m. for the contract documents.